folks, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com So welcome to my weekly forex analysis for the week of November 3rd Right, for those of you who are new, right, what I do each week is actually Identify potential swing, oppo swing trading opportunities, right, and show you guys how I, how I go about getting my entries, stop loss and targets, right So basically what I do is I identify the trend on the weekly charts and get my entry points on a daily and a forward chart so without further ado, let's roll into the charts. So recall a couple of weeks back where I said that the dollar is actually at the tipping point, right? So now I believe actually the market has actually shown its hand in what it's about to do in the coming weeks, all right? So the first chart is actually the British pound dollar. You can see that the resistance level is zone is around the 63 and 62 level, all right? We tested once, twice, thrice, and right now price rejected at this level again. So if you ask me, the pound dollar seems to be coming down lower in the coming weeks all right thus this means that the us dollar is actually gaining strength simple all right now to the next chart i'll look at the aussie weekly again similar story seems that the aussie dollar is about to come off lower in the coming weeks we had the test of support once twice thrice then price broke below support all right came back up rally and now testing the previous support now turn resistance so price apparently right now looks like it's about to roll over and hit lower in the coming weeks. So Aussie dollar bearish means the US dollar is bullish. US dollar strength. Okay, so the next chart will be the New Zealand dollar weekly. Again, very similar story. Tested the resistance level here once, right? Another time here. And what pattern did it form the two weeks ago? We had a bearish engulfing pattern here. Bearish engulfing. So price again looks set to roll over lower in the coming weeks right so this is also for the New Zealand dollar thus the last chart I'll look at with regard to my take on the US dollar is actually the euro dollar weekly again similar pattern we have a bearish engulfing pattern here signaling that the euro dollar will head down lower in the coming weeks which mean that the US dollar will appreciate right also notice a significant occurrence that has been occurring in the euro dollar weekly chart because if you notice, you know that I like bearish engulfing and bullish engulfing patterns. Basically, I like the engulfing patterns. And my definition of engulfing pattern is that the body has to engulf, engulf the body of the prior candle. Engulf body of prior candle. That is my definition of an engulfing pattern. Does not have to engulf the wicks or what people call as the shadows, but really only the body. So that's my definition and looking at it, let's see how many of these setups we can identify on the weekly chart and see what significance it has afterward. So basically the first one I found is here, engulfing pattern, price hit lower. I wouldn't really, by my so-called textbook definition, call this as an engulfing pattern because price did not engulf the prior candle. So it's, nope, not for me. Another one I spotted is here, the second one, price came down lower. This is also a very close to an engulfing pattern. Alright, so I'll just consider it as an engulfing again. So price came down lower. And another one we have here is here. Price retrace a little before coming back lower. Do you also notice this candle here? Another engulfing pattern, which lead to a lower move. Another engulfing pattern, but we don't have much of a move downward downwards. Then price retrace up higher. And another engulfing pattern, and what happened next? Price hit down lower, retrace up. What do we have? Another engulfing pattern, price hit down lower. We trace up. This is also another engulfing pattern, but it probably is a failed setup as price rallied higher. And another engulfing pattern we have this week. So right now, this week, price form an engulfing pattern. So do take note of this. So what do I expect in the coming weeks? Definitely a lower prices for the euro dollar. So I expect price to test the 34 level before heading down lower to the 2750 level. But before that, do note that there's a significant level which is the 134 level here. Alright? So how will I go about shorting this pair? With that, I'll actually need to go down to the daily time frame. Alright. And let's see what do we have here. This is a daily chart, and actually I will look to short around this region here. I'll take my FIP tool, swing high to swing low. And this region here is where I'll look to short between the 50% and the 61 and 618 level around here. Because what I potentially and anticipating is actually a potential head and shoulder pattern on the left head sorry the left shoulder the head and possibly for price to retrieve up higher and form this head and shoulders pattern so i will look to short around the 50 and 618 retracement level 
with my stops above the swing high over here which is the head okay so with that that will be my potential setup for the euro dollar and i'll watch if price does retrace in the coming week so the next chart i'll look at would be the euro canadian okay another euro pair so again the euro canadian weekly i'll zoom out and you can see the significance of the 143 level right we tested once down here second time third time a fourth time then look what happened next right now we are at this level again and what pattern is this another bearish engulfing pattern okay so similarly for the euro dollar i will look for price to retrace a little bit before shorting let me zoom in to give you a clearer perspective there we have it the bearish engulfing pattern this one over here so you can see that price the prior week was very bullish you know took out all the resist resistance level so my thought was that okay i'll buy on pullbacks however what this week happened was that it reversed all the gains that was gained during the prior week so a bearish engulfing pattern is what i call this chart over here this chart pattern over here and i'll look to short in the coming week i wouldn't want to short at this close over here because my stop loss will actually be very large so i'll anticipate that price will retrace a little bit up higher short somewhere around here get my stops above here and anticipate a down move afterward but do take note that the euro canadian the euro canadian and the euro dollar they're actually correlated because they are both euro denominated pairs so what i would do is advise you guys to split up your risk perhaps if you are used to tr risking two percent a trade i'll suggest risking one percent for the euro canadian and one percent for the euro dollar right so this way you are not actually being exposed to too much euro currencies so with that, that will be my Euro Canadian. And the last pair I'll be going through this week is actually the British Pound Yen. So let's look at the British Pound Yen, all right? This is actually the daily. The weekly chart we can see is correct, still in a very clear uptrend. But I wouldn't want to go to the weekly because of the fact that my entry will be on the one hour. So looking at the four hour chart, all right? I actually have a neutral bias, a neutral to upward bias. Because right now we can see that price actually contain the range between the 158 and 156 level 156.50 so when price in range I look to BSSR buy support sell resistance so in this forward chart it's still pretty unclear how price reacts to this range so what I'll do is I go down to the one hour chart but bear in mind that I have a neutral to a bullish bias so I don't mind selling and I don't mind buying but I'll actually prefer buying so that's what a neutral to, to bullish bias means I wouldn't mind selling at the top of the range, but I also wouldn't mind buying at the bottom of the range, but with preference towards buying at the bottom of the range. Okay, so with that, let's look at the one hour chart. I'll zoom out and plot my SNR levels. So as you can see, here's a very obvious level. I'll use the 158. Okay, 158. And possibly another 158.20. So see how beautifully it touches. Okay, and here 156.80 and i would say perhaps 157 possibly so yep i've identified my range and so what i'll do is i'll look to buy support sell resistance which is actually the support zone will actually be somewhere here and i'll look to sell resistance which is somewhere here so you guys can actually look for candlestick pattern before taking up your shots or long right so perhaps a bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing if here price reaches here can either form a pin bar like this or a bearish engulfing pattern which I spotted a few earlier or should price come down lower and test the support level either get a bullish pin bar or again a bullish engulfing pattern so some of you guys may be thinking what about just selling directly at the resistance level and buying at a support level without any confirmation that would be possible as well but you guys definitely need to manage your stops accordingly Right, I would suggest perhaps using uh, at least a 1.5 times ATR for your stops if you were to just directly sell into resistance or buy into support. And the period for my ATR is usually I use is 14, the default setting. So a 1.5 to a 2 times ATR to give you enough volatility so you do not get stopped out unnecessarily. And for targets, it's very simple, just LTP at the opposite end of the range. Right. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy my Forex analysis. That's all I have this week. If you do enjoy what I'm doing, you can actually head down to my website at tradingwithrainer.com and access to all my free materials down there. With that, I wish you guys good luck and good trading and have a great weekend, you guys. Thank you.